In this work, we present a learning-based pipeline to navigate in dynamic environments with a mobile robot. The robot receives depth frames from a front-facing camera, the relative coordinates of a nearby goal to reach, and decides on a base velocity command. To achieve this, we develop a standalone module that can predict the temporal evolution of the scene from a stream of depth images and the camera's trajectory. The output of this module is used to train an obstacle avoiding policy on a quadrupedal robot purely in simulation. The policy can then be deployed sim to real. Let's look at the pipeline. The stream of depth images is first encoded to a low dimensional latent space using a variational autoencoder. These latent vectors are fed through an LSTM along with the camera's trajectory to produce a hidden state vector H. Since the LSTM is trained to predict future depth frames, its hidden state represents the belief state of the world. Indeed, the depth measurements are only partial observations, and it has to estimate the underlying state of the world, such as the velocity of the dynamic obstacles, to be able to predict the future. The belief state and the relative position of a goal to reach are then fed to a goal reaching and obstacle avoiding policy trained in simulation using reinforcement learning. The raw depth images obtained from the real sense are noisy as can be seen in the top frame. To filter the images, but also to overcome the reality gap between simulated and real images, we incorporate an additional image processing step which removes noise and reduces the level of detail of objects. The variational autoencoder is trained to carry out this processing step as can be seen in the bottom right frame. First, we show the results obtained in simulation. The variational autoencoder and the LSTM are frozen in the reinforcement learning pipeline. Since the belief state is a powerful representation, the policy converges after a dozen of minutes only. The robot is capable of avoiding dynamic obstacles while successfully navigating towards the goal. We deploy the whole pipeline sim to real. In this experiment, the robot is given a goal 10 meters ahead. The robot cannot choose a straight path, which would otherwise result in a collision. Since we use depth frames instead of RGB images, the pipeline generalizes to unseen environments without the need of extensive domain randomization. Furthermore, in our ablation study, we show that the image filtering step carried out by the variational autoencoder is key for successful sim to real transfer. In the next experiment, we deploy the robot in a dynamic environment. We give a goal a couple of meters ahead and walk across the path of the robot. It can be seen that the robot reacts very quickly to oncoming obstacles and plans a path around to reach the goal. The pipeline generalizes to shapes that have not been seen during training and works in a great variety of scenes.